this Meccano model is a replication of Mr. William Skinner's 1939 gravity machine. I would like to explain the principles employed in this machine. Uh, they are very simple. Firstly, the machine's in two parts. This upper, this upper weight is arranged in such a way that it can drive the lower weight. The upper weight is driven very simply by a reciprocating mechanism which uh, tilts it on its axis back and forth like that. You can see this gives it a vigorous thrust. Very simple. In actual fact, when it's running, this weight is traveling in a shallow figure eight path and it's being raised at each 180 degrees of its travel and it gains an impetus, a gravitational impetus, uh, twice in each rotation. That is, at every 180 degrees of rotation. Now the bottom part is simply, again, a heavy weight on a tilted axis, universal joint and bearings beneath that. There is a sliding joint here that's uh, an elliptical drive. You can see that's well off centre and uh, it's enabled to slide which you can see is necessary to accommodate the changing length of this shaft. When the machine is rotating without a load on, it's basically like a flywheel, simply storing kinetic energy in the rotating mass. However, as soon as a load is applied to the output shaft, <coughs> this upper weight, which has simply been chasing the lower weight, starts to overtake the lower weight and lifts it. As you can see, I'll turn it right angles to make this more apparent, but it's actually lifting that weight um, on this model. Uh, over an inch in height. So as soon as the load appears here, the upper weight starts to overtake the lower weight and more gravitational torque is applied to this shaft. And I believe that that is really the secret to the overunity properties of this device. I'll uh, I will connect this highly complicated elastic band drive. Now we can see, left to itself, it would simply oscillate. It would simply sit there. Doing that. But just with a little input energy to start it, the device quickly times itself and will then run, as I believe Mr. Skinner's machine uh, did. And you can see this single stage machine runs, does run very smoothly. And if I apply a little braking effort to the output shaft, I can feel the torque increasing as the top weight starts to overtake the lower weight, if I give it too much, um, obviously I can put it out of time because it's only a small machine, but nevertheless, you can feel the effect. I can squeeze it fairly hard without stopping it. Mm -hmm. 
Now this is running on a, it's actually a 24 volt motor and at the moment it's drawing barely 2 volts at about 1 eighth of an amp. Perhaps 130 milliamps. So, we'll switch it off. And I hope that helped.